Today, I'm going to be opening this first pack, the first reward from the Prestige XP reward path. So we're going for 555 or more likes on the video. Subscribe if y'all are new on the road to 60,000 subscribers. We did that before June 1st. We're giving away $100. Feel free to follow on any of those social medias. Use code TWIN on controlfreak.com if y'all want to. In the comment section below, let me know who you guys would choose. If you guys had this pack or you've opened this pack, the very first one in the Prestige reward path, who you guys would choose if you want to let me know who you would choose for yourselves and then who you would choose if you were me i'm gonna take a little bit of time to decide this like this is not gonna be a quick super quick pack opening like i'm gonna open this pack and then we're gonna talk through it real quick i'm gonna show you guys my team just so you can see what i'm rocking with currently i'm gonna probably put craig my my plan right now because i suck with ryan sandberg is to put craig biggio in at uh in at second base i think he's on my bench right now but we're, my plan is to put craig biggio at second base and move ryan sandberg to the bench that's what i'm thinking about doing but i'm really not sure but this is the current team that i'm rocking with okay this is what i've been working with however i can always make some changes and it's nothing is set in stone for sure and then i'll just show you guys real quick the prestige xp reward path so you can see it's the first one you get a reward at every five levels you get another one of these packs level 35 and you get a very other pack a very other pack you get a different pack a special one a very special different pack though at level 25 so we're going to be opening that as well in a video but for now we got this one the first reward in the prestige xp reward path okay so i'm going to go ahead open this up i'm going to turn the cam off and show you guys the attributes for all the cards real quick in case you guys do want to see you want to pause it on all of them and i wish there was an easy way i wish like if there was a prestige version of a card you could press maybe like square and it would show you maybe the stats side by side or would show you the stats for the normal card or something i just wish there was an easy way to compare their stats versus the normal ones right here so if you guys want to pause it on any of these dudes feel free if you guys want to see the attributes for the cards i think if i'm not mistaken i don't know if this is 100 percent accurate or true at all but i want to say that each stat or most stats are three to four higher so like the contact versus righties would be 110 or 109 on that normal reggie i don't know if that's true but i want to say that's potentially accurate so mini minoso is left field primary but his secondaries are third base center field and right field and my current outfield is trout and left mantle and center with gary sheffield in right field i'm trying to keep players especially if they don't have great defense i'm trying to keep them in their primary positions if i can but obviously that's not always going to happen uh if mini was in his he would have replaced trout in left field though and trout would move to the bench if i chose mini however i could also put him at third because i got nolan jones at third base right now the thing is my lineup's already pretty righty heavy so i don't know if i want to get another righty i don't know if i want to replace a lefty with a righty so he would replace one of those outfielders or nolan jones buster posey would either replace himself his current card okay at catcher or he would replace nolan gorman at first base one or the other and i could always have you know current like normal ryan at second move biggio to catcher and have posey at first base or something like it, it could always work out like no matter who we choose we will find a spot if i were to go ryan sandberg i'd put him at second for normal ryan sandberg and we would probably move I would say probably move Biggio to catcher and Posey to first if I actually was to go this card right now. Reggie Jackson, I don't know exactly where I would put him. I'm thinking left field just because I, I almost want to keep Gary Sheffield in his primary. He only plays outfield, doesn't play third or anything like that. So I would have to replace Trout, Mantle, or Gary Sheffield in the outfield. And I'm thinking the move would be to keep Gary Sheffield and mantle in their primaries and then have reggie in a secondary at left field get another lefty bat in the lineup then i could maybe take out one of my lefties i could maybe take out nolan jones or nolan gorman and put in like a 99 overall card that could always be a possibility so you never know i think reggie jackson would be a solid pick barry larkin i'm not even using his normal card uh he only plays shortstop so i would be replacing my creative player and my creative player for the most part has better or equal attributes to this card i think his contact versus righties is a little bit lower versus lefties it's higher power versus righties it's higher i want to say power versus lefties is about the same vision is about the same probably a little bit lower fielding i think is a little bit higher reaction probably about the same speed as 85 whereas his is 89 so my creative player is very similar to this card i can actually try to show you guys right now 
my creative players attributes so you guys can see what they are compared i'm not gonna be able to see it till editing but hopefully i was able to put something in there for y'all and i told you guys it's, it's gonna take me a little bit to decide like i sh probably should have decided before i started this video most of the comments either said reggie jackson or buster posey or ryan sandberg those were the three i saw the most when i asked you guys the most like the the highest like comment the most upvoted comment on the video though where i asked was reggie jackson he was like the only one that had like a high voted comment so reggie jackson seems to be your guys's favorite the fan favorite and just kind of thinking about it i feel like reggie jackson would fit in the best so here's my thinking and i'm sorry like i understand it probably takes me longer than it should for stuff like this in the game but it's just i like talking through my thought process and everything because eventually we'll get there like if you guys want to you can just skip ahead and see who we chose or whatever but i like talking through my thought process explaining why i do or don't make certain decisions stuff like that and i i know some people like to see that i don't know not everybody does but i know i also overthink a lot of things too so i'm sorry but it is what it is and my kind of plan like what i what i want to do okay so the collections are gary sheffield for the nl craig biggio for the al and then mickey mansell for all of them and those three cards you are able to get prestige versions of those cards okay so i would rather have one of those guys in like say it was between gary sheffield and mike trout I would rather have Gary Sheffield in my starting lineup because there's a prestige version of the card that I want to work towards, right? And I'm honestly thinking for the 99 Hannes Wagner whenever they add that. If they if they do, I, I would assume they're going to do something, right? I'm saying it like it's a, a guaranteed thing. It's not, obviously. We don't know yet, but I assume they're going to do something like that. And I feel like prestige diamonds would be one of the collections for him, I, I would assume. So I want to try to get as many prestige cards as I can. I want to get prestige mantle, Sheffield, and Biggio. So... I know I haven't had Biggio in my starting lineup. That's going to change. I don't know about next ranked seasons games. You guys see, I don't know the order of the videos today. Today's ranked seasons video does not have Craig Biggio on the team. Okay, so that's not going to be a thing. But starting our next ranked seasons video after today, I want Craig Biggio on the team so I can be working towards that prestige. So I want those three guys in the lineup. So that's right now, center field, right field, and then either catcher, second base is his primary. So maybe we have him at second base for Ryan since I suck with normal Ryan. So I want those three guys in the lineup. And that means Reggie Jackson could have replaced Trout in left field. Ryan Sandberg could have replaced Nolan Jones at third. Okay, that, that could have worked out maybe. Barry Larkin could have replaced my creative player at short. Posey could have replaced Posey at catcher. And Minnie Minoso could, you know, replace Trout and left. So, like, all these guys, we can still find a spot. But I'm thinking that Reggie Jackson's the move. Especially because, like, here, here's, it, it's so hard for me to, to put Mike Trout on the bench. But I would not mind having another lefty in the lineup. My lineup's really righty heavy. And it, it, it's hard for me to take out Mike Trout. It really is. But I think, whoa. Whoa. I have that that's that's been in there for like days i'm pretty sure but either way i really want reggie jackson i'm thinking it's hard man it's hard I, oh my goodness see yep i'm going reggie jackson it, it took me way longer than it probably should have i'm sorry about that i know it probably took me longer than it should have, but i'm going reggie jackson and we're gonna replace mike trout the only thing that mike trout is better at is fielding and obviously stealing which isn't or, or, or no no, 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 no. Fielding and speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fielding and speed. It's the only thing Mike Trout's better at, which isn't a surprise. It's the 99 prestige versus, versus, uh, versus Mike Trout. So I'm going to put Reggie Jackson in left. Oh, he's already in use. My bad. I can't do that yet. Wait. Okay. So we still got the pack. So I'm going to make the lineup and for a little bit of gameplay after this, I'm going to try to do a moment or two. If you guys do want to see that, um, let's do this here and then just replace. There we go. Yo, that's beautiful, man. My first prestige diamond. Oh, that's awesome. So, Mantle we can prestige. Gary Sheffield we can prestige. Craig Biggio we can prestige. We have prestige Reggie Jackson. I'll be able to get Posey. I could get Sandberger Minoso. I could get Barry Larkin. And then... Wait, does one of them play first base? Is there any way to get a first baseman? I'm sorry, man. Like, <laughs> I'm all over the place. We, we, we got a lot to figure out. Does, do any of these dudes play first base? I don't think so. Reggie doesn't. Ryan Samber. Oh, Posey does. My bad. Posey does. But then we wouldn't have a catcher. So, okay. 
So right now we're looking for a prestige first baseman. Is there anybody can, that can play first that we can prestige? I don't think so. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Well, uh, I'm talking about a 99 overall prestige, by the way. I'm not talking about like Todd Helton or somebody like that. I'm talking about a 99 overall prestige. So that's my team right now. I'm sorry that it took me so long to make a decision and open that pack. And I told you guys though at the beginning, like it was going to take me a while. That's my bad. But I just really wanted to talk through it in case you guys wanted to hear my thought process. But I'm going to try my best to prestige Mantle, Sheffield, and Biggio. And eventually we'll get, you know, Posey, Minoso, Larkin, maybe Samberg. Like we'll get other guys to be able to prestige as well. But that look, I, I love it, man. I love having a prestige diamond on the team. That's beautiful. So I'm working on right now trying to get all of these done if I can. I'm trying to just collect as many cards as I can. And for George, Brett, Pudge, Cargo, Posada, Keith, and Gibson, I'm pretty sure all those cards, one, two, three, four, five, six cards, I need to do moments for them. And George, Brett, it's the starter moment. So if we go over to moments and then all the way down to, st uh, not all the way down, but just right here, I'm pretty sure these starter moments are the ones I need to do for George Brett. So I'm gonna do some of these or all of these for the rest of the video in case you guys do wanna see that. I just figure, hey, if I'm gonna be doing it in a video, that's gonna make me more likely to get it done. Cause if I'm not, if I'm not doing it right now, I probably wouldn't be doing it today. So this first one as Mariano Rivera, I need to pitch one inning and strike out two batters on rookie difficulty. Hopefully not gonna be too hard. And David Ortiz striking out for round number one. Now we just need one more strikeout and ooh. Shouldn't be throwing it down the middle. We need one more strikeout and just getting out of this without blowing the save. 0-2 to Dustin Pedroia. We'll go slide around side. Beautiful. Striking him out. Now we just need one more out and we get this moment done. I'm hoping these aren't too bad. I don't think they should be since they're the starter moments, right? I think they're designed to be easy. And I think they only give one point towards that George Brett card each. And there's seven of them. And I need seven more. So if we can get this one done, there's one. And now there's going to be six moments to go. I want to say the next one might be a big poppy moment. Maybe hitting a home run or something like that. I don't think it should be uh, hopefully too bad, though. If it is hitting a home run, he's a good card. And let's wait for it to load just a second. Yeah, hit one home run is big poppy, okay? Rookie difficulty, hopefully not too bad. And there we go. I think it was attempt maybe number four. We're getting it done. Two of seven to go. I should probably just try to get him. I should just try to knock him out. Because if I don't finish these, I don't know when I'm going to finish them. So I should probably just try to knock him out in this video. And that's two of seven done. Next one, we need to pitch two innings on rookie without giving up a run. Are these all on rookie? I feel like they might be. And there we go. Getting this one done. No problem. Yeah, if they're all on uh, on rookie, I don't think this is going to be too hard. I mean, these are the starter moments. So there's, it's, you know, it's probably not designed to be difficult. And I would just like to get him done as fast as we can. So now we need to hit one. Oh, this one's going to be I, I, like, it's going to be tough, but because it's going to take a long time. Wow. Uh, so we need to hit one home run here, but 13 strikeouts in one game, man. That's going to be a little bit annoying to go through. The good news is there's no innings requirement. Like if I get 13 strikeouts in the first four and a half innings, we get it done. We don't have to play the rest of the game, which will be nice. Trying to hit a home run. As Gary Sheffield. Hey, there we go. Getting this one done. It took me a few games, but I'm not going to lie. This one was hard for me to get one with Gary Sheffield because I was swinging at everything. I wasn't swinging at home run pitches. I would swing at balls low, square them up, but, you know, get a ground ball hit or something, stuff like that. I wasn't swinging at really home run pitches, if that makes sense. On to the next one. We got a so we have three left. Strike out 13 batters. I think this one should be pretty easy. They're all on rookie. They should all be pretty easy, just maybe time consuming. Uh, next one, three hits in one game with Mickey Mantle. I'm hoping it gives me the 99 version. And then the final one, pitch a complete game shutout. Ooh, okay. And getting this one done, it took until two outs in the seventh inning, but we got the strikeouts we needed. And I actually got a letter in the mail from my ISP. I've been waiting 35 days for this letter because I've been trying to fix my issues. And the, the, the letter pretty much says, hey, we tried to fix it in the past and we couldn't figure out what was wrong. So we're providing good speed tests so we can't solve the issue so I, I just i need to i need to try to take care of this so we're gonna end the video here i'm not getting these moments done maybe i'll finish them on my own or in another video or something but i'm gonna end this video here try to take care of that real quick and everything still got three videos today and all that and everything but i just i want to go try to take care of this because i want to stream and it's looking like i'm probably just gonna have to buy a second internet uh from a different company just to be able to stream because my speeds are good but my there's pack a loss or an unstable connection or something which which i don't know man it's very frustrating but i love you guys i'll see you next time like comment subscribe thank you so much for watching sorry it took me so long again for the pack and all that but i'll see you next time have a fantastic rest of your day
Peace out.